Now I'm going to show you the first of the fluency shaping skills that this device will help you to do. This is the slow speech with stretch vowels target. If you turn the delay to 200 milliseconds, your speech should slow to one or two seconds per syllable. Now, because you probably have other things to do for the next two hours, I'm going to adjust this back to a, n a normal speaking rate. But I'll tell you that for when you're stretching your vowels, you want to make sure you stretch your vowels, but not stretch your consonants. In, in other words, you don't say stretch. You say stretch. For your vowel, for your consonants, you just lightly touch your lips, jaw, and tongue. Now, another mistake that people make is that they hold each word to the same length. What you want to do is to hold each syllable to the same length. So we do not say I am an American. You say I am an American. American has four syllables, so it should take four times longer than the one-syllable words. Also make sure that you join the words together. Don't pause between the words except when you have to breathe. For example, you say, I am an American. You don't say, I am an American. Now your speech should be 100% fluent at one or two seconds stretched syllables. But we're doing this not because you should speak very slowly for the rest of your life, but rather your speech therapist is going to teach you other skills with this very slow speech. She may teach you to relax your breathing, or she may teach you to do and till onset of phonation. We use we use slow speech to learn the skills that you will use later. And the a good analogy here is to think about if you were learning tennis or golf, your coach would have you first swing the racket or the club slowly. And your coach would look at how you're holding the racket, how you're standing, correct your elbows, make you move your where your uh, feet are placed, whatever, and get you perfect when you're swinging the racket slowly. And then when you're perfect, the coach will have you gradually increase your speed and your force until you're, you're um, playing tennis or golf normally. And we'll do the same thing with, with, with speech. Another thing you want to do when you're using your very slow speech is to try to increase the stress of the conversations. Normally when you're just doing home practice or uh, talking, you know, chatting with your speech language pathologist, it's a low stress conversation and you're probably fluent any, anyway. So let's try to increase the stress of the conversation. 
you could do this by doing some some role playing with your speech therapist or with a um, family member. For example, you could pretend to be a tele a telemarketer, and you're you're calling, trying to sell slow cookers and slow blow fuses and slow jam CDs and uh, the person you're calling asks you know how slow are your slow jam CDs and you say oh, we're slow jam CDs are the slowest. Or when a telemarketer calls you, you can practice your slow speech. Now, I used to do this, and I found it was very effective. Um, can't say that anyone else has ever taken my advice, but using your your speech therapy to uh, you know practice with a tele telemarketer is a good way to practice in a real conversation with um a certain amount of of stress now another thing your your speech language pathologist may do is to have you take off one of the headphones and just use the daf with one ear or she may have you turn the volume down, or she may have you take off the device entirely and do your slow speech without the device. If you can do the slow speech 100% fluently without the device, in a fairly stressful conversation, you're now ready to adjust the delay to a faster speed.